I go to YouTube. I'm X, and this is my second box of Quarter Century Bonanza that I'm opened, opening today. This wrapping kind of looks weird. Um, but the case I got these from was legit. First box had, uh, yeah, authentic cards in them, and the pulls were, I think, kind of okay. So I'm sure this one will be nice as well. In comparison to the first box, I'm trying to open a little bit quicker because I want to oh interesting I want to open the whole box in one go oh no I hope this pack doesn't have uh, anything special that's that's damaged uh, let's start with that one uh, that's going to be weird Because the cards are all shoved upwards. <laughs> That's kind of ironic. I'm saying I want to open faster and then the first pack takes like hours. Last box started with Pauli and Super Rare as well. There's a sign at mining. And there's oh Kaiku, nice one. Kaiku in Yeah, that's the how it's called Platinum Secret Rare. Even we back in the day knew that Kaiko was a good card when he came out. So Konami realized that as well and was like, hey, he's going to get a nice looking reprint. That's O polymer polymerization alt art and a wave motion cannon. I appreciate it because I like burn. I don't think I have mentioned this at all in any of my videos. <laughs> That's Labyrinth of Nightmare and Magician's Force. The sets uh, which my first two nostalgia cards originated from. Wanted, Seeker of Sinful Spoils. That's a decent card, let's put it aside. Swap Frog, Secret Rare. And oh, Blowback Dragon. That is another Platinum Secret Rare card I use in my machine goat deck. Um, Promethean Princess. I think she's a decent card too. Oh. Next one. Danger Bigfoot Alt Art. That's uh, Dragon Maid Hospitality as a QCR and Substitute as a Platinum Secret Rare. First quarter of the video, House Dragon Maid and Deep Sea Di Diva, both ultra rares. I think it's going to be faster if I sleeve the cards after the video. And because I'm going to be careful, there shouldn't be any damage to them. Nemesis Corridor. <laughs> okay, um, I have to make some noises. <laughs> that's what we did when uh, we flipped Manny Tabak back in the day. Ah, uh, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, yeah, my friend uh, Chris is not watching my videos, I think, but uh, he'd enjoy this card as well because he came up with the sound. Nice. <laughs> That's cool about the set. You have some stuff that's relevant today and you can have a nice chuckle at, at old distant memories from like 20 years ago. Oh, that's uh, Neptibus the Atlantean Princess and oh, that's a quarter. Hello. Plus Jorak Guaira. Uh, plus an ultimate rare grave of the super ancient organism. Why not? So, wait, that was... Was it a QCR? Yes, it was. And Heatwave Ultra Rare. I don't think I saw uh, either Heatwave uh, or Cold Wave in the first box. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera <laughs> in all my excitement. Red Eyes Inside, that's nice. And uh, Koakimeru Drago. Nightmare Phoenix and Destiny Hero Malicious. Secret goes here, Ultras go there. Uh, 
Dracosac. That's a Redox. And a Legendary Six Samurai Kizan? Is that saying Kizan? Yes, I think it is. And that's a Platinum. Plus two Ultra Rares, with another one being Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Old, old, old. Fire King Island, Laundry Dragon Maid, and next up is, oh, Dark End Dragon, that's a good one, at least I think so, it was kind of an expensive card from both um, LCGX and Ra Yellow, Nemesis Flag and Madolce Saloon, so, wait, do I have a pile for Collector's Rares already, oh no, I think it was actually the first one that I pulled in this box. And another Platinum, of course. Cursed Seal again. Dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy. Oh, and Cyber Ant Dragon. Zane giving me a thumbs up for that one, I think. Samurai, six Samurai United, and oh, that's a thrust. <laughs> oh no, um, okay, who gets the reference? That's a nice thrust. <laughs> ah, well, <laughs> tell me in the comments if you know which movie I'm referencing. Swap Frog, Ancient Gear Howitzer. And what the? Uh, Reactant Dragon Ruler of. of Pearls? I'm confused. I can't read this. It's too sparkly. Can't handle sparkliness. You have to overload his logic system. Uh, oh, oh, bonfire! Uh, wasn't that one of the the goodies? I think so. And oh, another Goyo Guardian. I got this last last time as well. Last box. Let's put bonfire to the potentially good low rare cards. And six samurai, secret six samurai, Kisaru. Ototo, Ben Beckman. Mosh Mosh. Tidal, Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls, and oh, this commander. Unfortunately, he's erratat. Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernaut, Liebe again, and Dark Beckoning Beast. Ah, shame, he's, he's in his. Yeah. Nerfed into the ground version. Hmm. Hmm. Second half. Let's hurry up a little. <laughs> Ancient Gear Howitzer. Uh, that one. And Machina Fortress. That's an LC3, I think. Dragon Maid Hospitality. And Lord of the Heavenly Prison. I think that was his name. Ghost Reaper, Clockwork Knight, oh cool, Red Eyes, hello, 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 ah, oh, it's not a quarter, shame, 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 uh, I should stop making bad references, Danger Bigfoot, that grass looks greener, and oh, <laughs> Flute of Summoning Dragon, quarter century, okay. That is like, it doesn't get older than that because it was in Starter Deck Hyber, which kind of kicked off the whole thing with Starter Deck Yugi. Or was LOB before that? I'm not sure. But yeah, I didn't expect this card to be in here. Of course, I, I saw the full set spoilers, but I... 
I don't remember all of it. And of course my, my mind is rather focused on the, the really good cards. Flute of Summoning Dragon isn't that good. But, oh, that's Scrap Dragon as a Platinum. Wait, I have to put the, the flute over here. Fire King Island and Medolce Saloon. Yeah, what I was saying, um, of course you remember the cards you want to pull and not the obscure ones like Flute of Summoning Dragon because why would why would I? Ghost Reaper, Secret and oh, Crabons! Does this even, uh, even have a high rare uh, version other than this one? Arch Nemesis Protoss and Mermel Lipisteus. Crabons might be might be interesting for some people. I mean, it's one of the first uh, tuners. And that's Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. And oh, nice! <laughs> the LON hits Kaiku and Bazoo and Heat Wave Ulti and Ancient Gear Fortress Ulti. Double Ulti is not too bad. Ancient Gear uh, Fortress was so so funny. <laughs> like 20 euro for a common out of a structure deck. And of course I didn't have any of them. That would have been so nice. Finding them in bulk randomly. Oh, that's a nice plus I got here. But of course I didn't. And oh, engage. With the Shizuku I pulled in QCR in the first box. If this, if this was a QCR, there might have been some some people wanting to to get those. Maybe uh, they are mm, they are still interested in the, the platinums as well. I just don't like Sky Strikers because I got uh, like four matchups with Sky Strikers in my second regional tournament I went to. Set rotation and that le that grass looks greener. QCR pile is growing with not great ones, but well, there'll be other cards in here that make up for some of the value. Win, Danger Bigfoot, and oh, Zombie World. Another card I didn't expect. Oh, wait, I messed up my piles. I can sort that out later. Oh no! Look at this. That, uh, there's another pack. That's oh oh no. I don't like that. Imagine having like a QCR blue eyes or DMG or something in here, and then you have to worry about the condition. Diabel Star, the Black Witch, and oh, that's kind of one of the the baby dragon rulers. Isn't it? Plus, oh, SP! Ah, I forgot this card was in here. I totally forgot this card was in here. That's my first one. Decent. Why not? SP, Little Knight. And my last pack of my second box for Quarter Century Bonanza. Let's go, let's end with the big one. Blaster. Oh, that's Gearsu, the Orcost Magnite in Platinum Secret Rare. Plus, drum roll. <laughs> okay, shrink. I literally said, let's end with a big one, and I'm putting shrink, of all things. Thank you for trolling me. Troll, yay. <laughs> ah, no, this is so bad. Um, the puns, of course. <laughs> ah, Jesus. I missed opening stuff and talking trash. So, uh, yeah, that's a whole box. Uh, I don't think I have much time for a recap, but my QCRs this time were a little lackluster. Um, I'll have to check if the other cards make up for that. And of course, thank you for watching. See you next time on Random Old School Yu Gi Oh! And stay tuned for more content like this. See ya!